what's going on everybody dj goham here welcome back to the channel welcome to the very last farm sim news of 2020 it's farm sim news baby Today, we've got a new feature that's been added to the John Deere X9 Combine. JA Modding shows off his John Deere round baler, and it's a big one. Polycat Modding has updated screenshots of his John Deere self-propelled mower. Agritono show off the customization list for their Case IH 7150. Custom Modding announced all of the big projects that they're working on right now for 2021. 40 Modding are working on another high-spec spreader. 8UP Modding's platform is complete. Galaruga Modding show off more progress on their new spreader. JV3D have some new mods for us plus the arm team announced what they're working on for 2021 as well let's check it out today we start off with some new features shown off on sid modding's john deere x9 combine we've got a nice big top grain tank topper which likely will hold somewhere around 20,000 liters if previous mods are any indication of the tank size he said it's the king of the fields happy new year everybody this is just one of the new features being added to the John Deere X9 Combine, being made for all platforms, but just like everything that we talk about at Farm Some News, there are no release dates. As you know, the demo unit for the X9 is out now for PC players, and here you get to see the demo unit beside the new mod being created by JA Modding, the John Deere 466 Baylor. And to go with that, we have a new fact sheet dedicated to the baler. It's going to cost you $30,000 and has a working speed of 13 kilometers per hour or around 6 or 7 miles per hour, requires 50 horsepower, and makes 7,500 liter bales. That is right, making it one of, if not the largest baler that will be available for all platforms once released. Going forward, we even get to see it side by side with the mod that Slusha's Modding is working on, the John Deere 2280 Diesel self-propelled mower, another mod being made for all platforms. As mentioned before, this is not to be confused with the newer model that Polycount Modding is working on. Speaking of that newer model, here we can see some more progress of the John Deere W260 Windrow self-propelled mower. This mod that's being worked on a few months now, and Polycount shows new pics of it today working on the in-game progress, saying that they hope to bring us new images soon of it in-game. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so that you don't miss it. Something else that you don't want to miss is Agritono and their Case IH 7150 Combine. They say that they are reaching the final stretch of the project and getting close to finishing it. They have finished the configurations and are currently working on some bugs before setting it off. For this Combine, we're not only going to have one, but two engine configurations. We knew about the 7150 already, but they're going to be adding a smaller 6150 option as well. Included with that will be three pipe options, eight variations of the grain tank, nine wheel and tire setups, interior monitor option, and four different glass color options to accommodate those who like darker and lighter setups. Custom modding have released more than 20 mods in 2020, including updates and new mods alike. That is quite a bit, but they aren't done yet and have many plans for 2021. We can expect to see the John Deere C850 air cart and drill, along with the version two of those that will include some big upgraded features. They will also have their Case IH early riser planters, Case 2130 stock, and 2160 front fold trailing. To go along with those, they're gonna have their Demco 22 series grain cart, the Pattison liquid carts, and they're working on the Case IH 250 series combine. Some of these mods will come to all platforms, some will not due to licensing. Make sure that you stay tuned to the channel as we talk about each one once more information is announced. Here lately, 4D Modding has been working on their new high-spec 2300 SAR tanker. Today, we get something even bigger. The high-spec 5000 TRIS tanker. They do say that some components shown will be modified to suit the tanker size, and naturally there are no release dates or platform information known yet, just because it is too early in the modding process to know. Ada Modding's 4000H hook lift is now complete and going through the final stages of testing, and then it will be off to Giants for testing for all platforms. He does say that the great thing about this is it's only going to take up two slots for console players, which is great news. Galaruga Modding show off new progress today on their hydraulic fan Camara 89 spreader. They say testing of the spreader is now complete. So far, no serious failures have been found when testing in-game and has also been tested with the Giants mod tool for modders to verify that all of the files are correct. They just need to prepare it for console players now, meaning it will have the Camara and other unlicensed logos removed to make it unbranded for console players. JV3D Modding have announced two new projects today. First off, the Subsoiler ASTH7 Furrow, and secondly, the Cultivator Baladin CVACN. There is unfortunately no other information known at this time for either mod. And lastly today, the ARM team have announced some new mods that they have finished and are ready to be tested. First off, the Heath Super Chaser QM Extra. They're also working 
working on a pair of Roland Bell trailers, a Laylee Welger Baylor, and a Mikhail 998 Bell wrapper. They do go on to say that there's a few more other projects that they're working on as well, so make sure you stay tuned for updated information on all of their projects. And make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated news every day, just like every episode of Farm Sim News. Links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There are no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the Go Have Fab. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. I want to wish you all a very, very happy new year. Welcome to 2021. Hopefully, it's going to be much better than 2020. We will see. All being said, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Bye. You know, the whole I'll see you next year jokes, they may be corny, but they're still funny.